Hey y'all, it's Anime Game Man. Today I'm gonna be live reacting to Gege no Gitaro episode 57 and I'm gonna start on the 2 minutes and 5 second mark because pretty much just starts off the episode with the usual flash forward and then the opening so yep. Now that I'm assuming y'all have skipped ahead, I'm gonna start the live reaction in one zero go. Alright, I'm so hyped up to see uh, Agnes again. It's been a while since they've shown her. I think since like the 30s? Oh. <clears throat> hey! Oh, my. Straight up murder. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Alright. You know shit's real when you see Ray show up. Ho ho ho! Oi! <clears throat> oh! Draculae, that's pretty beastly. Oh! Hmm. Oh my! And I love how common the words like yokai use this season. It's really, really, really cool. <laughs> oh. But that's in real life too. Sometimes people do talk about how handsome or sometimes a suspect could be at times in real life. So it kind of feels realistic. Oof. All right. <clears throat> That's actually a great point. It's been like... Hmm. That's true. It would feel more like a Western type yoka. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I'm thinking that too. That's pretty nifty. Oh. Oh, snap! <laughs> so wait! Ah. Oh. <laughs> Can you blame her sandwich, though? She's probably so excited to see Nana again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That can't be good. <laughs> I mean, on top of the four treasonous generals, having back be around wouldn't be the best situation for our main crew at all. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Alright, it's actually a cool thing to actually see one of the underlings of Backward actually come back in a big way.
Hmm, Lacien's is a pretty cool name. Hmm? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> it's cool to see that smile again. At least for a small amount of time. I want that eyeball there. If that's the case, better haul some ass. Hmm. Well, I'm assuming they're gonna be attacked right now because it'd be way too easy if they can just bring Mana back to her home that easily. And oh, that's a lot. I mean, to cut. Alright, music just got intense. Can only hope that vampire yokai. I'm assuming that's a vampire. Y oh, okay. Cool, he didn't have any other lingo with him. We can only hope it's safe though for Mana and that there isn't molt. What the? How powerful is that Yoko to have taken down? Catch it like that? Jeez. Alright. Oh, I get it. So he, I'm assuming he used the human as a hostage to try to... To try to gain the upper hand against Cat Chick then. Oh! Oh, jeez. Okay, well that explains it. At me being a big Catchick fanboy, I'm glad it took two motherfuckers to take down Catchick, I'm assuming. <laughs> okay, but that ain't good for our boy guitar though. Holy shit, we were really seeing that scared. I mean not scared, but startled that way. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Jeez. If Lassiere would have been there with that in the first um in the first attack of the Gege Force, they would have been fucked. <laughs> like seriously. And I'm not gonna really complain about that plot West, because I'm assuming Lassiere was probably busy doing other shit. Guess use internal electricity, Guitaro. Or that works too. Although he could be using his internal electricity though. But that works. Okay, y'all. This episode's cool now, but come on, he has to use his internal electricity more. I'm just saying, y'all. Like, even in Pokemon, they get that shit right. Whenever Pikachu's in a tough situation, Pikachu uses his 
Thunderbolt. But okay. Just gotta hope that Daddy Apple can find a way of helping out Guitaro. Because I'm assuming right now he's in the vest right now. Okay, come on, Mona. You think she would have been hauling ass to go home? <laughs> Lack running. Oh. All right. <laughs> Daddy awful. MVP this week. I should like that. That the show gives him his moments here and there. Okay, we better hope they don't... Okay, at the very least, they're not going to go for the kill for Danny Abo. That's sweet. I'm assuming Agnes is going to have to show up because things are getting pretty escalated. Kataro sealed. And Daddy Eyeball Sealed, Cat Chicks knocked the fuck out. World of Cloth not, is, is not exactly the best fighter. Wild Law probably won't be quick enough to even fuck with La Siena. And Sandwich... Uh, actually, she's pretty strong. What the... Yo! It's actually pretty interesting to see the more of the feats of the Chinchanko vest, actually. I like that. Quite fitting that I have a coffin too, considering they're vampires, actually. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Just don't don't even. I don't want guitar to die. Okay. He actually did it. Jeez. Oh, poor woman. So I'm assuming that wasn't any eyeball in the vest of that, or what? Hmm. Let's see at the bottom. Yo, that is so overpowered! <laughs> Jeez! In a good way. That's provided no one got to there first, though. Oh. So, wait, wait, wait. So, as long as the Taurus vest is still there, you can just circle Taurus Barney, he's still alive?
You know, that's actually a smart approach. For... <laughs> you know, it's kind of interesting to see Katara as the horror movie role now. Because <laughs> now it feels like he's like the zombie in a zombie movie and those two vampires are the fucking human characters trying to hide away from a zombie horde. Talk about role reversal. But that even worked, they tried burning the vest earlier. <laughs> yeah, but I guess you know what they say about fear. Fear makes you do some crazy shit. Are they actually gonna kill themselves? By accident? Uh, that would be some poetic justice. I'm with them there. <laughs> Wait, what? How? I'm, I'm curious. Wow. I mean, that is some impressive shit. Mmm. Shit won't trip fool him again. <laughs> yeah, for him, he better hope there'll be some kind of like. Yoka as an extreme dentist, because. <laughs> Okay, at the very least, we're actually... This is actually a first to see um, the enemy Yoka actually want to give up. It's a nice change of pace, actually. And we'll actually get to see some characterization from Yotaro if we actually let him go, too. Oh, right. I mean, I can kind of see Ray's perspective too on that. Considering they're very powerful, vampiric yoka, I could see why letting them go wouldn't be the best course of action. Whoa! Yo! Talk about overkill! Jeez! That was hot. Figuratively, I mean. Shit, I'm sweating. That shit was so intense. Yo, that's savage. <laughs> Just the way he refers to. I see any has someone extremely lesser. Hmm. Oh, okay. At least we're getting. At least we're getting a sense of race morality. Mm-hmm. That's true. Last thing I did say he wouldn't attack Japan anymore, but he didn't mention the other countries in the world, the nations. Oh. Oh my, you know, 
Ray's not exactly wrong either. He's got a point. And you can see he has a point because Guitar can refute that too. Hmm. You know what? And that was some great shit. Although, I did not like the whole thing though. About Last Cannon just being like, Alright, we just sealed the motherfucker that just fucking killed Backbeard. And pretty much helped take down motherfucking Anashi. You would think La La Siene and Mammoth would have been like, you know what, let's just quickly finish off Gitaro because they showed us getting them out the hammer, but why not just get out the hammer earlier? So that kind of writing right there kind of lowered the episode a bit for me because that kind of shit, it's like, come on, I can't just ignore that shit. That's like... The typical shit you would get sometimes in a Saturday morning cartoon where that bad guys have the upper hand against the main characters. And then they're all like, you know what, we won't finish you off. We'll just let you live a bit more so that you can come back later and kick our asses. Kind of felt like, um, oh, a preview. All right. Oh, actually, um, huh. You know what, that preview looks... Pretty interesting, you know. I'm not... Looks like a fun, comedy-centric episode. But, you know, kind of stuff like that. It's like, Toei could have ran it better. And let me explain how. They could have literally... The moment that Kitaro got sealed up in the cube, they could have instantly had a scene where Agnes shows up, fights off La Siene, and gathers enough time so that um, they could get him out of like the seal or they could have had Sandwich show up and then Agnes do some kind of spell to get Kitaro out instead of what Toei actually did in the specific episode, you know? That's where I felt the writing in this episode, at least from the villains. Don't get me wrong, I like seeing his personality, but I thought that the writers there, they made La Siena stupid just because, just because for no reason, and uh, that kind of stuff, well, you know, it just doesn't sit well with me too much. And it isn't just the cartoons I do it too. I sometimes see, on occasions, movies do it. Like some of the James Bond movies, I think the same shit too. I was like, why don't you just finish off James Bond, or in other animes too. Why not just finish off the character? So, that's why I had issues with it. And additionally, aside from that, I'd say that's really the only complaint I had about this episode. Overall, everything else was kind of, oh, and the only other small complaint, and that isn't as bad as them not finishing off Guitaro, and I already explained how they could have done it so that they wouldn't have written themselves in the corner. But, save for that, they pretty much tease Agnes, only show her for a few seconds and that's it. It's like, would have liked to see her more for like, a large amount of the episode, you know? But I'd say those are really the only complaints, because everything else was great. We got to find out Ray's moral system, at the very least when it comes to humans, he will actually pretty much... Let them go even if they're good or evil, but when it comes to evil humans, he'll let any punishment fall, fall upon them. But when it comes to yokai, if they're evil, Ray will finish them off. So at the very least, we got Ray's full moral system, moral code system. Kills bad yokai, won't kill good yokai, but won't save them either of his own free will. So at least we got, uh, and when it comes to humans, you know, like evil humans be arrested or killed if they do evil, but for good humans, he will go through late lengths to save them. So, this episode, in just a few seconds, we got to find out more about Ray. So, that was pretty fucking awesome. And additionally, we got to find out Kitaro's morality system, too. Because now we find out if a yokai does want to give up, Kitaro will actually let them go. And uh, that is pretty cool, actually. Because at least now we get to know that Kitaro, 
he has quite a large amount of mercy in his heart. So that was a great thing to see. And that's why I take a note. And the animation art were amazing. And voice performances were great. And overall, I'm going to rate this episode a 9 out of 10. It was just so damn amazing. Even though, yes, there was that slight downside that pretty much had me dock off a point and they wouldn't have this episode have been a 10 out of 10 instantly. This episode was still super amazing. Oh, and again, the internal electricity. Y'all know how I feel about that. Guitar should use that more often. Come on now. <laughs> should use that more often. But other than that, though, I thought this episode was so darn good. So anyways, guys and gals, these are my thoughts on Gekiga no Guitaro episode 57. Comment out your thoughts in the comment section below. Rate the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you subscribe for more, because I'm actually excited for next week. It looks pretty fun. Alright, thank y'all so much for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.